Okay, so we're, we're rolling in Fort Myers. It's uh, beginning of November, That's just right. a few days before our famous Academy of Ophthalmology meeting in New Orleans this year. We've got a great patient from Toronto, Toronto correct. Toronto, who is famous for his business. Do you want me to tell your business? Sure, uh, yeah. Elevator nice. Interiors. That's Talk right. about a niche business. Uh, mad, mad Elevators, it is, That's something right. like mad that, elevators. out of Toronto. A famous company. Anyway... Uh, when did your symptoms start? Uh, I've had them since I was a teenager. No, I mean oh. the real stuff right oh, now. Oh, I'd say probably about uh, uh, where it started to become very bothersome was probably about 10 years ago. And it's, years has ago. it always been like this windshield wiper yes, business? Yeah. Did they always diagnose it as a posterior vitreous detachment? No. They just, no. Nobody no one, really no one, gave you an Everyone answer. just said it was floaters. Yeah, you have a lot of floaters. But no yeah. one, I didn't hear the term PVD until, despite speaking to couple of optometrists and at least two ophthalmologists no one mentioned that term right and you've had no eye surgery so let me explain you had a posterior vitreous detachment a very large i'd say uh, we call it a fibrillar mass but it looks like a little aggregation of spider webs or a cotton candy ball was right behind the natural lens of your eye mm -hmm. and those are very very difficult to get uh uh with laser, but uh, of course, uh, we did what three laser sessions was two, it? Two. Actually. Oh, two. So I did two laser sessions, and wait, we didn't do a third one yesterday. No, that was two. No, no, was okay, two. I'm sorry. So two laser sessions, yeah. and we've dislodged this mm -hmm. opacity to an inconspicuous area because it was behind the lens of the eye and it no longer has that windshield wiper. Exactly. Correct? Yeah, no. So 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 when that came in your field of vision, it actually obscured what you were looking at. Most yeah. doctors don't understand that. They see that you see 20-20. Right. They think you're a nutcase. What are you complaining about? I got floaters too. But they don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, I believe that really is the case. I, I, I've mentioned it to many people, I mean, doctors, uh, friends even who are doctors, and uh, everyone pretty much discounted that. Like, as you say, like, basically, you can see, okay, it's a nuisance, it's annoyance, uh, just live with it, your brain compensates. And in fact, it does, but staring at the computer day in and day out as I did, uh, it was, I was constantly having to shoo it out of the way. And basically, it was kind of, I had a window, and then it would come back into view, and it, what I didn't understand that it was actually kind of attached. I, I sort of thought it was all loose matter going around and around and that my eyeball was literally full of floaters. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Uh, yeah. Because it seems to, as I, as I moved my eye, it seemed to kind of just go around and around circles. I wasn't aware that it was kind of just basically doing the wave. And uh, uh, because I, I literally thought it would be impossible for you to get all these things. There were so many. I thought, how is he going to do this? How can this possibly work? But then when you explain that, Basically, it was sort of, and I saw it on the, the ultrasound, that it was sort of a, a gel, gelatinous kind of stationary mass. And what I was uh, witnessing was just the... It was uh, one, one, one thing, yeah. aggregation that was, it's more or less tethered and it yeah, comes back so, to the yeah. same spot. So but but sense, yeah, we so. got it. We got it all the way. Yeah. That's a great result. Uh, more, uh, the enemy of uh, good is, is more, uh, better is the enemy of good. Mm -hmm. So we have a good result here. Yeah. Great result, actually. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go back to your Tor Toronto ophthalmologist. I'm going to send you with the video. You can show them what can be done, yeah. and uh, maybe it'll be helpful for the next patient. Yeah, no, absolutely, because I think uh, if, uh, like, I, I felt over, let's say, the past 10 years that it's been a bit of a, like, you question, you're talking to professionals, and you question, every time I brought up something, even, I said, there must be a way of doing this, and uh, they weren't very open to it, and I realize now, that, I mean, a lot of people could, could benefit. Uh, yeah, a lot of people could benefit greatly from the fact that it's just, yeah, just get it out of the way. You don't get rid of it all, but it, it does help your vision. Right. Well, yeah. well, that goal is not yeah. to get rid of it. No. The goal is to let you see yeah. perfectly well, yeah. better than it was yeah. before. No, no, That's it, the bottom it, it line. Is, yeah, it's really, although the floaters are, some of them are still there, it's not, it's right. 100% different. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's worth it for sure. Yeah. Anyway, you're a great patient. Have a great trip back to Toronto and uh, stay in touch. Okay.